Hello and welcome to the Python tutorial series. My name is Daniel Lari. In the previous session, we have talked about the types of the method in a class and types of uh, the variables in a class. And we have seen that there are two types of the variable in a class. Uh, one is instance variable and second one is your class variable. And we can declare three types of the method in a class. One is instance method, second one is your class method, and third one is your static method. So I hope all the concepts have been clear and if you, still if you have doubt then you can put your queries into the comment box in this session i'll talk about the access modifiers and uh, why the access modifier is uh, essential and required uh, there are so many concepts are available in object oriented programming and if you want to uh, implement those concepts properly you have to understand that uh, the access modifiers and by using those things we can implement the concepts so i will talk about the concepts in the subsequent tutorial first of all i'll explain that what are the access modifiers are available in python so the question is what is the requirement of access modifiers so uh, access modifiers are used to restrict or control the accessibility of class resources by declaring or making them as public private and protected okay so it means uh, we have three accessibility level one is public second one is protected and third one is private so uh, uh, first uh, let me clear one more thing if you are coming from any other object oriented programming background like c plus plus and java there we follow some keywords to restrict and to make any member as private public and protected but in python we follow the uh, some convention to declare any member as public protected and private okay let's uh, first understand that what is public uh, accessibility so if you uh, create a class and if you uh, declare any member uh, like variable or method in that class by default every member in python uh, class is public uh, what do i mean to say just uh, understand by this definition and by this example so let's create a class uh, that is the test and here i will create one method that is uh, for example m1 i'm taking only uh, this uh, example to just uh, clarify to the uh, concepts and here i'm writing that statement from method and here i'm going to create one constructor and we know that how to create a constructor def in it and here i will create one member as a is equal 20 okay so uh, as you can see that uh, we have declared one instance variable and one instance method in this class so by default these members has uh, um, have the accessibility public public means the members you can access uh, from outside of the class anywhere so these members are accessible anywhere outside of the class outside of this package you you just need to create the object of this class and you can access this so we have already used this let's create an object so this is now object now if you write t dot and m1 then you can access m1 and if i print the value of a then i can write t dot a okay let's execute and see the output as you can see a statement from the method and 20 is printing why because these members are uh, are public and by default every member that you declare inside a class is public in python okay next one is protected so if you want to make any member as protected then we write one underscore before any identifier so this denotes that this member is protected and uh, as i said we follow some convention so th this is a convention to declare any member as protected and what is mean by protected protected means a member accessible from within the class and are also available to its subclass uh, i know uh, i haven't covered uh, the inheritance so uh, when you will uh, understand the inheritance then you will go through the subclass meaning so a subclass means a child class of this test class so that class can access this a and within this test we can access this a this is the convention i i, I said so if you try to access this a outside of this class so you can access definitely you can access but we should avoid to write this code why because we have written one underscore that is following your variable name and it denotes that we are declaring this variable as protected okay so 
uh, whenever we uh, write any code and whenever we see uh, that any member has uh, one underscore then we should not access outside of the class direct with that member should be accessible within the same class or through the subclass this is the convention i am telling you okay uh, because some uh, students come from any other object oriented programming concepts and they say that uh, protected is restricted to access uh, from outside of the class in uh, c++ and uh, java uh, but here we can access the protected member outside of the class direct by using the object name yes we can access but as i said python follows the convention so if you find anything that is followed by one underscore we should avoid this syntax okay so i hope this statement is clear so if i say in one line there is uh, nothing like protected in python so it is not wrong but as uh, the python documentation says we should follow some convention so this is the convention to declare any member as protected and uh, yes you can declare method as well the protected by using one underscore so this is the convention another one is private private members can be accessed only within the same class and to declare any member as private we write double underscore okay to protected one underscore to uh, make a member as private we use double underscore and if you try to access this variable outside of the class then you will get error that is attribute error just look at here we are getting attribute error so this is restricted within the same class and it cannot be accessed uh, yes there is uh, one way that we can access but as i said this is the convention that we follow in uh, python so we should avoid those uh, uh, statements i will tell you that how to access the private member outside of the class but uh, we should avoid those uh, statements so this is uh, the syntax that we cannot use to access means the private members can be accessed within only same class and you can access it and uh, if i access this uh, a within the m1 then i will write itself dot a and in place of this i will write t dot m1 so let's execute this one and uh, we can see that okay so i have made a mistake here that is double underscore and if i write this one then you can see that this is accessible so uh, if you try to access outside of the class this member then you will get error and uh, yes within the same class we can access as i said uh, we can access any uh, private member outside of the class but how the question is how so uh, in python uh, there is a one thing that uh, is called uh, name mangling of private variables okay what is name mangling name mangling means every member with double underscore will be changed to this syntax that you can see on the screen object dot underscore class double underscore variable so uh, you can access any private member by using this statement but as i said we should avoid okay so if i write print here and if i write first what is the syntax first one is object so the object name is t dot underscore and class class name is test and then double underscore variable and the variable name is a now let's see that can we access this one so yes we can access this is called mangling of private variables so as i said if it is not required to access any private members in this way we should not write this syntax so i hope the concepts are clear let's revise one more thing every member in python uh, class by default is public and if you want to make that uh, any member as protected then we write one underscore and if you want to make any member as private then we use double underscore still if you have doubt then you can put your queries into the comment box and if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and please like and share the videos thank you bye, -bye.